Hey, welcome. This I am uh, Martha, and this is Pause Yoga and Fitness. I am here today because I don't know if you've ever thought about this yourself, like I am too inflexible for yoga. Um, if you have thought of that, um, then this is your video, because if you do feel like you're inflexible, then I think actually on your yoga mat is the right place for you. So um, I'm going to take you through, I'm not even quite sure how long this, this um, class is going to be right now. Um, I'm setting out to do like a 20 minute, 30 minute class um, ish. So we'll see. Um, but I'm going to incorporate blocks, um, a strap and um, my blanket, maybe even bolster just to show you how accessible yoga is. You just need to maybe get the right tools and find the right class and the right instructor for you. Um, but I, th I think this is what's so beautiful about YouTube is, you know, um, you can find any class on YouTube. Um, and I'm really trying to make my page a, a place where you can come and there can be like a wide variety of classes in, um, you know, everything um, for you right here um, in the comfort of your own home and your own space to practice and gain confidence uh, and then go out in the studio maybe or the gym. Um, but I think also um, the videos on YouTube are just such a great um, kind of um, addition to maybe a studio practice. Um, I do feel that um, we need to move constantly throughout the day, move more. Um, and you, you know, studio isn't open all day long. There's no classes all day long, right? So, um, but YouTube is there anytime you want it, right? So um, with that said, let's just come Roll out your mat, come to your mat, and let's start in a comfortable seated position. So if you, when you come and you sit and you find your knees here, I'm going to encourage you to either grab maybe two yoga blocks and put them side by side. If you happen to have a yoga bolster, um, I would you know grab that. I find the bolster to be more comfortable than the two blocks. See how this feels. This the sitting is going to be probably come a little bit more accessible to you. We're just going to settle into our yoga breath. Inhaling fully, belly rises. And exhale slowly back out. Next inhale, let's tuck your chin and hold. And start to move your chin towards your right shoulder. Breathe. And then move to your left shoulder and breathe. Notice any differences. Big inhale, lift your arms to the sky, maybe gaze up and release. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale, lift, extend, reach, and release. All right, from here, let's um, go ahead and take one arm up and back like you're swimming. Move with your breath, inhale left, exhale back. One more. And then let's just leave it in our shoulders up and back and down, up. Back and down, one more. And then we'll take a few to the front. All right, from here, let's take your arms out. 
Let's take your right arm underneath your left for eagle arms, palm to palm. Lift your elbows right in line with your chest. And then I'll face this way for a minute. And then your hands kind of away from your forehead. Starting to feel this incredible stretch in your upper back. Breathe here. And we'll release. But before we do that, let's just inhale, open up, feel your shoulder blades come together. And then we'll take eagle. So left arm this time underneath. Elbows lift. Hands away from your forehead. Palm to palm. My palm palms don't exactly go palm to palm, so I just kind of hold on to my hands. You could also take your hands to your shoulders. Here. And release. So cross-legged, I know you might not be able to see, but I'm cross-legged here. Or if you can, maybe stack your left leg on top of your right if you've got that ability. Otherwise, just leave them crossed. And we're just going to start to kind of make circles from your belly button. So it's like pull your belly button and exhale. Kind of belly button pokes out, right? Pull it in. Inhale forward. Exhale it back. Let's go in the other direction. Good. Let's come back to center. Big inhale again. Reach up to the sky. Let's take a twist. So I'm going to have your arms just kind of framing your face. So while you're here, stay here for a moment and work on getting your shoulders down. So you don't want your shoulders near your ears. Shoulders down. If it feels better for you, you could do cactus arms. And then let's twist to the right. Inhale to center. Just going to that warm stretch, not pushing anything. Exhale left. It could be a very small move here. Notice any sides that are different. My left is way tighter. It's harder to get into that twist. Exhale right, belly button pulls in. Inhale lengthen. Exhale left. Inhale. Right, this time let's exhale right and release your arms. So my left hand is just going to come down to the ground behind me or rest on the bolster since so I'm up on the bolster. And my, my left hand will be on this right knee. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. And back to center. Big inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, twist left. And release it into your twist. Just wash your furniture behind you. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And release out of that. Let's come up off your bolster. I'm just going to tilt my camera down a little bit so you can see me more on the ground here for a minute. Um, and we're going to come into hands and knees, tabletop position. So I am on carpet, really nice for the knees. So if you have bad knees, you get a blanket, even a sweatshirt or something. You could put your knees, this under your knees, your blanket. You could roll your mat in a way so um, the, the mat's like double padded or you know rolled up under your knees for some padding. And into tabletop when you're ready. So wrists underneath your shoulders, knees are about hip distance apart, fingers are spread. And we're going to go into cat and towel here. So inhale, drop your belly, crown your head and tailbone lift, big inhale, and round cat. Press the ground away, tuck your chin, and move with your breath. Keep breathing. Let's come into neutral spine. Extend your right leg back and just press your heel back, getting a good stretch. 
and release. Extend your left leg back. And release. So we are going to go into down dog next. So if you do have a blanket or even a bolster, what you could do is roll it kind of like so and place it at the end of your mat. So where your toes will be kind of right in front of it. And then your hands could come to your yoga blocks, which my other yoga block is downstairs. All right, so you could have your hands on two yoga blocks too. That's another great option. So from here, you're gonna exhale, press back. So you feel like your heels are grounded because they're against this um, blanket. If you don't have the blanket, you, and you, you can still kind of do with the blanket, but you can paddle out. So one heel down, the other one up. Bending your knees as much as you need. As, if you're super tight in the back of your body, bend your knees. Use that blanket. Press your heels into it. Breathe. Let your head hang heavy. And hands can be on blocks here. All right. You're going to look forward. And then we're going to just start to walk towards your hands. And maybe your hands towards your feet. Coming into your forward fold, and you're just gonna hold on to your elbows. And again, your knees can bend as much as you need. Just lift your head hang heavy, and we're gonna rock from side to side. Okay. Releasing your arms, you roll all the way. Up. All right, so you're going to step to the top of your mat, and from here, get your right leg back. All right, so if I'm on a yoga mat, I'm taking up the majority of my yoga mat space. So my right foot is bladed, so parallel to the short end of my yoga mat, and then my left toes are facing the short, the front end, the short end of my yoga mat on this side. We're gonna prepare for a warrior two here. So another thing you wanna check is heel and instep are lined up. So think balance beam. And then also think about pressing the pinky edge of this back foot down. So your arch might lift up. But from here, you're just gonna to start to press in, kind of bend that front knee, press your hips down. And again, I'm on carpet. So if you're with me on carpet, just be really careful, very mindful, belly button pulls in. And then finally adding those arms. So your gaze is going to be over your left middle finger here. And shoulders are again down away from your ears. Breathe. This front knee keeps pressing open. And we are going to reverse our warrior two. So your right hand is going to go down along your back leg. You're going to reach forward to this front arm. Flip your palm, lift it to the sky, and back. And so this hand can just rest right there. Gaze up only if it's comfortable. Shoulders are down. And then come back up. Use your strength of your legs and your abs. And then you're going to rest your arm on this front thigh for a, um, uh, my mind is just gone blank on this move. <laughs> It'll come to me in a second. But your right arm's to the sky. Or if you'd like to, it can reach to the front of the room. So bicep and ear come together, which I think feels really good. Three. And again, strong legs coming out of that. The name never came to me, but that's okay. We're going to prepare for triangle. So straightening out your leg, you're going to reach forward and then down. And so your hand can come to a block here or rest right on your shin. And then again, you can bend this knee a little bit more, but it should be fairly straight, but you can have a small bend in that knee if you're really tight. And just thinking about opening up your chest. Breathe. And strong legs, abs, let's lift out of that. 
Nice job. From here, let's have our feet face the same direction now, preparing for a wide-legged fold, toes in, heels out, hands to your hips, and soft knees. Inhale, open up, and then exhale, fold, and you can place your hands on the block. Head hangs heavy. Breathe. And hands back to your hips, lift right back up. And we're going to just come to the front of our mat again, and we're going to repeat on the other side. But I'm going to go this way just so my back is not to you. So this time we're going to step the left leg back, heel and instep line up, preparing for our warrior two on this side. Is it side angle? Was that the name of that pose? <laughs> I'm human, I forget things. So. All right, back heel is pressed, or back pinky toes down, heel and instep are lined up, and then you can add your arms. This front knee tracks towards your pinky toe, soft shoulders, take another breath or so. Or a pair of, or we're going to get ready for our reverse yoga, so flip your front palm, you're gonna reach it up towards the sky and back, and this hand can just kind of rest right there. Soft shoulders. Use your abs and legs. Let's come back and side angle. What's the side angle? Keep that bend in your knee. It's so easy to get lazy and, and not bend, but keep it. Keep it tracking towards your pinky toe, which is opening up your hips. Okay, abs and legs strong and come out. We're going to prepare for triangle. So, fairly straight leg. You're going to reach. And then come down, hand to your shin or the block. And chest opens up. And in this time, we're just going to frame our foot here, both hands on either side. And you're just going to step into your forward fold and fold. All right, release your arms, we're roll all the way up. I teach classes throughout the week, and I love to challenge my students to come down to the floor without hands. So we're gonna go do that now. Um, and so you can do this through chair pose, which is gonna be the most challenging. You can do it by bringing a knee down and then sitting. You can do it by bringing a foot behind the other. So from here, just slowly lower down and release, and we're gonna come all the way down to our backs. All right, from here, both knees are bent. Let's take our right leg to the sky. And so if you have a yoga strap, you can actually take the strap underneath your right, ball of your right foot. Just relax your arms, left leg is working, left leg is flexed, soft knee, breathe. It's really working on loosening up the back of your leg. Never forcing any stretches here. Never making them happen, just but easing into it using your breath. So you have a choice here. You can let go of the strap and hug your knee in. And then exhale your knee across your body, gazing out towards your right hand. Or if you want to, keeping the strap, you're going to take the strap in your left hand. With that straight leg, you're going to bring it across your body. Gaze right. Keep your right shoulder grounded in your left. And come on up. We're going to move right into figure four, or maybe a modified pigeon is what you've heard it called before. Our right ankle is right over our left knee. And this might be a lot of work for you. So I would stay here and encourage you to gently press your right thigh away. Or if you can, you can take your hands behind your left thigh, draw it in. 
Another great use of the strap is taking the strap around your left foot and use the strap to draw in that thigh. Or you can take your hands to the front of your, your left leg too. Release here. Just hug your knees into your chest, walking from side to side. Keep your arms out at T. Just go ahead and let your knees fall left, gaze right. Then you can take your left hand and gently press your top thigh down, breathe. And we're going to repeat all this on the other side. Good. So let's come back. We're going to grab that strap again. Our left leg is coming to the sky. Relax through your arms and your shoulders. Let your right leg nice and long. That right foot is flexed. So your right side is working. You can drop the strap, hug your knee into your chest, and then exhale your knee across your body. Or you can use the strap with a long leg. So you're going to take the strap in your right hand, take your leg across your body, gaze out towards your left hand, and breathe. Come back to center. We're going to move into pigeon from here. So again, you can stay here with your right foot grounded or draw your right thigh in. Breathe. Go ahead and hug your knees in. Rock again from side to side. And then let your knees fall right. Arms are out at T. Your right hand can gently press your top thigh down. Let's release. So from here, you're going to hug your knees in. So you can take happy baby by either taking your knees apart and keeping them drawn in. Or if it's accessible to you, um, you're going to take the soles of your feet to the sky and grab onto his big toes. Or you could grab onto your legs or anywhere, maybe even the back of your legs. Um, happy baby, your version. And breathe. Now let's release, feet out wide, so knees rest on one another, constructive rest pose, breathe here. Maybe hands on your bellies, checking in, are you still breathing deeply? Is your belly still rising? Then go ahead and just start to windshield wiper your knees, turn side to side. And then bringing the soles of your feet together. So now we're going to open up. You can place blocks underneath your knees if you need to for some support. 
and I just have the one block in this room. So um, it would look something like this, if that feels good for you. And from here, just slowly start to take your legs out wide and your arms. We're just going to take up lots of space for final resting pose. You don't want to do final resting. Maybe you're doing this first thing in the morning, uh, which I don't blame you. It's You want to be energized, but right now it's about 4.40 in the afternoon. So what a perfect time to take final resting as we're kind of winding down my day. If you're joining me, just start with deep belly breathing, sinking down into your mat, letting every muscle relax completely. Letting your mind go. Let go of any thoughts, let go of tension. Just start to wake the body back up and back to your breath. If you need to stay here longer, hit pause. I'm just going to take a full body stretch again. And then rolling over to your left or right side for sleeping baby. And stay here for a minute, just kind of focusing on your muscles, your breath, your energy, your mood. And then very carefully, you're going to press yourself up to a comfortable seat just where we finished last. Maybe coming back to your bolster or the up blocks. And bringing your hands into prayer, close press to your chest. Just closing your eyes or gazing down, getting connected to your breath and to your heartbeat. Acknowledging yourself for coming to your mat to maybe be a little uncomfortable, maybe doing something new, moving your body in a new way, breathing in a new way, just acknowledging yourself for doing that because this is a part of taking care of you and encouraging you to come back to your mat to continue to take care of you through exercise each and every day. So now you can go off and take care of those you need to just in a stronger, healthier way. One more full inhale, fill it out. 
into my heart tears. Thank y'all. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope um, if you've got um, this equipment, you know, if you've got props that, um, or I encourage you to get props if you don't have them, as they really do make a huge difference, especially if you are really tight in the back of your body. But what is the best way to get flexible or to feel a little bit more flexible or to be able to do yoga? It is to do yoga. Um, that is the only way really. It's just consistently coming to your mat, rolling it out, doing 10 minute practices, 20 minute practices, 30 minute practices, whatever you can get in your day, but doing that um, as much as you can um, just to um, you know work on that flexibility work on balance and strength, all those things that um, yoga brings to um, your body. It's, it's such an amazing practice. So I could go on and on and talk about this, but I won't. So thank you so much for um, joining me today. And um, I'll see you back here next time. Take care. Bye.